Well, good morning, everyone. Let us pray. So for a few minutes, I invite you to be conscious of breathing in God's peace and breathing out any fear that may have a hold on you. And breathe in God's love and breathe out any hurtful thoughts you may be harboring. And breathe in God's hope. And breathe out or let go of concerns or inklings of despair. Breathe in a desire for a deeper faith, a kind of faith <clears throat> that moves mountains. As we approach Election Day, 
I think we're probably all feeling many different emotions. A bit of uncertainty, maybe some trepidation, fear, a sense of restlessness, but also maybe some guarded hope. <clears throat> I think it's all the more reason for us to remember in these last days leading up to the election that we need to draw on our faith, even if it is as small as a mustard seed, and remain grounded firmly in our faithful God, the God of great love, <clears throat> the one who constantly moves with us and who has brought us to this moment in time and through every moment of our lives. Through everything in the life story of our nation and in fact through every evolution in the life of our universe. <clears throat> Our confidence lies in God's promise to us that we hear in the book of Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares our God, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you. So this morning, <clears throat> moving along here. <laughs> so this morning, I invite you to contemplate this photo of the United States. As you can see, this is an image taken from space. It's an image holding both light and darkness. There are no borders or boundaries that can be easily recognized. No red or blue states are named. Just one amazing image of this place in the universe known as the United States, our home. During the presidential campaign in 2012, I wrote a song called, This is the America I Believe in. As you listen to that song this morning, I invite us as a community of faith to contemplate the image, this image, and pray with the desires that we have for our country come Tuesday, November 5th, and the time beyond that. Let's pray for an outpouring of wisdom upon us and all voters that we welcome the indwelling spirit of God within us to guide our choices for the good of all. And after the song, we'll just pray quietly for a few moments. <clears throat> be fed. Now is the time that all had a bed to rest from the cold on a long winter's night. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe in. What about you? Now is the time for violence to end. Now is the time for us to befriend those 
who have fallen on times that are hard. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe in. What about you? Now is the time to heal what is broken. Now is the time to hear what is spoken. The longing for work, for food and home. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe in. What about you? Now is the time to set our sight on the dream once again. How all have the right to life and liberty, pursuit of happiness. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe in. What about you? Now is the time to protect all creation. Now is the time for equal education for children who one day will lead us to peace. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe. What about you? Now is the time to reach out our hand. Now is the time to join with all lands in building a world where all are one. This is the America that I love. This is the America I believe in. What about you? We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. Sounds very much like our mission as the Congregation of St. Joseph and the mission of the well. And so as we move into this day and into the remaining days before the election, let us keep faith, place trust in our loving God, and live and work to create a more perfect union that all may be one. 
And please sing along with me if you like. If I had faith the size of a mustard seed and could plant it in the earth of my heart, maybe I could grow a love so deep and wide that the world could find shelter. To this we say, Amen.